Yoshida set up perfectly, has pushed it a good meter wide. Well, there is just no margin for error when it's a race to 15. And right there, Japan have been forced to burn a timeout. And how ironic that it was Yuji Nishida who has put so much into this match and has come up with what could be a very significant miss. Nothing wrong with the set. Yeah, he hasn't missed many. That's no time to find a miss now, though. But this 18-year-old so hard to be critical of him. It's his efforts that have almost single-handedly put Japan into this fifth set. Twice he came up with big serves at the end of the second, at the end of the fourth set to break the deadlock. Now, Italy find themselves in pole position once again. Being there is one thing, staying there is another. Anzani will serve. Yoshida will come in. Lanz has picked that up. Well, that's going to do it. Japan back into this deciding set. What a prospect this young man is. Only 18. My goodness me. They have fought their way back level here, Japan. This really is a spirited battle. Nishida was there, but it might well have been Haku Lee that got the big block in there. That restores parity here. Oh, it's a second chance here for the Italians. Nearly can't find a winner, but they can on the other side as Lee comes up big time once again. He's had a slow burner of a match, Haku Lee, but he really is popping up in the right place at the right time now. Can't find anything. Both teams really going for their serves here. It's very obvious why this game is going to be won on lost on who can get points on serve. Now, changes for Japan as Nishida comes into the rotation at server, which is why Gian Lorenzo Blenghini has called a timeout. He's seen at close range twice what Nishida is capable of. The last thing he needs now is for Nishida to go on a tear up on his serve. Just one point on serve could give Japan the edge. You get the sense this is a key moment in this match. And the youngster come up with something special again. Oh. Oh, 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 
Mazzani's serve deserved that. A bit of a nothing serve, and that's what happens if you just dink one in. It is going to come back at you. And the mood this young man is in. That is just asking for trouble. Yet another attack point for Yuji Nishida. What a performance he's put in tonight. And here's the captain, Yanagida. And that's so keeping his cool. Taking the easy kill. Both teams, five points from victory. Yanagida out. And Asano comes in. The pressure switches to Gabriele Nelly. A very dangerous server himself. He has two aces. So we're looking for him to provide a little bit of a cushion for them. Set level. And it, Italy let blow another opportunity. Not by much. Anything happens off that net board. These things tend to balance out. Remember, this was a long time ago now that Nelly had one on the net board that just took all the momentum and gave him a clean ace. Yamauchi, not a power server. And that's so. Beat the guys in the back court and Nishida can't find a winner. But they do find a winner there though. Haku Lee. Another big play from Lee. And the last thing he'll be caring about is that that one takes him into double figures on the night. He's had a real slow burner of a game, Lee, but he's really popped up at a big point in the match. And now. Japan have every chance. Davide Candelaro now comes in to provide some beef in the middle. His first appearance. Oh, what about that? Randazzo denied by Fukuzawa. Well, the Japanese are on the threshold of a huge victory here. It's an extraordinary story of resilience from them. They've trailed and fought back, trailed and fought back. Right, that's those out. Parody's in. Japan, two points from a huge upset. No. Nelly can't beat Yamauchi. This is going to come back. Nishida, brilliant, stunning. Match point Japan. Stand up, stand up. An all round effort again. A huge play defensively in the back court. And then the big kill, inevitably, from Nishida. And Japan are at match point. He's taken it long there, Parody, it's all over. Well, you won't see many matches quite like that for drama. And it's no more than they deserve as well. They put so much into the first two matches here in Osaka, didn't even get a set. They look thrilled just to get a point. They've got more than that, they've got the victory. They have beaten the Italians for the first time at world level in 11 years. And boy, do they deserve it. What an effort from the Italians. That defeat may prove hugely costly to Italian hopes of being in the finals. That may just knock them out. Glum faces all round on that side of the net. Joy on the other. It's all over. And Japan have registered a famous victory, one they're going to remember for a long time. You have to go back to the World League of 2007, to the last time Italy 
lost to Japan at this level. That one finished 3-2 as well. Italy, since then, seven in a row. But that streak ends right there. Brilliant coaching from Yuichi Nakagaichi and Philippe Blaine. And whilst Nishida will get all the plaudits for a huge performance, and rightfully so, his serving at the end of the second and the fourth set that proved so important.